Hey everyone, this is Brandy. I'm a furniture painter out of Sacramento, California. I'm with Brushed by Brandy. Um, I'm also a Dick Tadell brand ambassador and I'm here tonight because I'm going to paint with you guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this Harlequin pattern. Um, so I came on live last night um, on the same page and everybody that was on wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. They were looking at the piece behind me, which you guys can see here. Um, and so I figured I'd just come show you guys how to do that one. Um, tonight we're also going to be giving away some paint at the end of this broadcast. If you go like my page at Brushed by Brandy, I'm on Facebook and on Instagram. I'm also on Pinterest um, and YouTube. If you go like my um, Facebook page and then share this post and come back and tell me you did that at the end of this broadcast, we're going to be giving away an eight ounce of Dixie Bell paint in your choice of color. So come on, you guys, say hello. My husband is here tonight to answer any questions you have along the way. Um, let's say hello. Let me know where you're watching from, and I'll go ahead and get started on this. Renee says hi. Svetlana says hi. hi Susan Svetlana. says hi. Hi, Renee. Hi, guys. Okay. So this piece behind me that you can see here, um, I posted these on my page. I do have one drawer out because I wanted to be able to show you guys kind of up close what this look is going to look like. So I'm going to explain it first and then I'll walk through the steps on the sample board with you guys. Um, so all of the drawers on this piece, I did the entire body in Dixie Belle buttercream. Um, buttercream is a you know creamy shade of off-white. Um, people are, I think, worried it's got a yellowy tint, but I think it comes out in a, in a nice creamy off-white color when you put it on. Um, the body I did in, in the off-white, so that's how I got the two-tone look. But the drawers were all done in a base of vintage duck egg. So every drawer got a base of vintage duck egg. And then once that was dry, I put over that um, Dixie Belle sea glass. Savannah Mist might also another, be another color that works for this look, but I put sea glass over that, and then I came back and I stenciled on in the buttercream again, the Harlequin pattern. And once I distressed through those layers, it gave this a really nice aged look where you can see the sea glass, the vintage duck egg, and the buttercream all in layers on here. So I'm gonna set this aside. Hi, Christana. Hey, Christana. How you doing, girl? Christiana was live earlier today. I didn't watch her live. I've been out here painting, you guys. I actually, I finished those chests I was doing last night. They're for my own house, and I'm in love with them. I also um, top-coated another piece. I stained some wood tops. I've been busy today. Got some stuff coming. <laughs> guys, <laughs> I'm not a clean painter. This is what all my containers look like. They're all crusted shut. I bang them on the floor and that usually, be up. there we go, broke the seal. So we're going to do the look that's on the drawers for this piece. So I'm going to show you what I did for every, for all the drawers on there. So I'm going to start with, this is Dixie Bell Vintage Duck Egg. This is just an old sample board I had in my garage. We just built a house. I've got a bunch of leftover construction materials. Um, Jackie says, hey, Kristen, are you creeping Brandy? <laughs> Again. <laughs> If there was anybody who could creep me, I would pick it for, for it to be Christana. Christana is my people, you guys. Um, so I'm laying this on with the Dixie Bell with a Dixie Bell brush. Um, this is their one and a half inch. What's this one called? Um, I don't know. Oh, hang on. It's got paint over it. <laughs> Can't read it. <laughs> Um, I, my favorite of their brushes is the mini, but I'm using this one tonight because all my minis, I use them so often that they're wet all the time. Lynn says, well, you're a busy girl. I know. I am. I, I am. I'm trying to get all this stuff done. And um, What color is this again? Sorry. This is Vintage Duck Egg. So it's a beautiful shade of blue. It's got light green undertones. Um, I mean, you guys can see even this is just one coat I'm putting on here. And even just with one coat, I'm getting nice, even, smooth coverage. Um, this is going to be perfect for us to distress down to. Um, I'm not going to work it all the way down to the bottom. You guys can, probably can't even see down by the floor. So I'll work more up here. This is just the sample board. It's going to be the prettiest sample board you've ever seen when I'm done. Um, because we're layering paint tonight, I'm going to use that. Um, we couldn't find our heat gun, guys. I'm sorry. I, I just moved. And um, the garage was that notorious last room to get packed, you know? And so by the time we got out there, everything just went into one, one giant box. Bobby says hi from Oregon. Hi, Sandy, Bobby. hi from Florida. Hi, guys. I saw, uh, I believe it was Northeast Iowa. 
I guess Chicago. I yeah, I just was on live on here last night. I'll be live again on Saturday. Can I be? <laughs> you can be tired of me. But you don't get any choices, so you have to just deal with it. My husband Sean is here, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions as I go through this process. Um, I'm going to be cheating tonight, so I use a Harlequin um, stencil for stencil. Harlequin. I know Tracy Bellion from Tracy's Fancy. She like measures them all out and creates her own stencils. And like, as soon as she said measure, I, you know, checked out. I was like, I'm out. This is, you know, way too hard. South Dakota, Tennessee. We got everybody right. going on now. Okay, so I've got a pretty nice even coat. You know, maybe I'll even up this line up here so it looks a little bit cleaner. But pretend this is drawer prints. The drawers on my piece, um, the top drawers have a little bit of um, trim around them. Are you looking over there? Hello! Sorry. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> yeah, where are you? What at? color is this? They're having a hard time hearing you. Vintage duck egg. Do I need to talk louder, you guys? I'm sorry. I'll talk a little bit louder. Um, I had a microphone, and I used it one time, and it broke. So I've, I've been, um, my paint is starting to dry because I'm talking. That's good, because I'm going to dry it here in a second. And then I had a spot of something. I don't know what this was on my board. And so it's kind of starting to bleed through. So I should have primed this board, apparently. But it's just a sample board. Um, most of my drawers on this piece don't have any trim around them. They're a fairly flat front drawer. So the stencil pattern is a way to add interest to something. Um, the top two drawers do have a little bit of trim around them here. But um, the other drawers are fairly flat. So this is, you know, pretend this is our flat front drawers on a dresser piece. And I just laid on a coat of vintage duck egg. So Beverly wants to know if you're spraying water. Is that my mom? No. Oh, <laughs> my mom's name is Beverly, <laughs> Beverly. I was like, you better not be on here asking me questions. Yes, I did spray. I misted it with a little bit of water because I was putting that coat on and my paint started to dry. Once I get that it drag, any kind of drag, you feel your brush start to stick a little bit, add a little bit of water. That's just going to lubricate your surface a little bit so your brush slides easier. All right, I hate videos where you guys have to watch us dry paint, but it's just a reality of this. So I'm going to dry this paint um, so that I can come over and put another coat on it. I'm trying to pull back so I don't yeah. hear so much. This part's not going to be very exciting, so bear with me for a minute. Got a brush hair in there. Sorry guys, this is so boring. It's like watching paint dry, right? Literally. Okay, that's pretty good and dry. There's a couple spots where I laid the paint on a little bit heavier, and so those are just taking longer to dry. It's honestly not a huge deal. Normally, what I do, every step I do on a piece, I let it dry overnight. So everything, first coat, dry overnight. Second coat, dry overnight. Top coat, dry overnight. Um, I always leave my pieces overnight. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take Dixie Bell Sea Glass. Um, vintage Duck Egg and Sea Glass are only a subtle shade different. You can kind of see in the container. What? So, here we go. Somebody made the comment that, you know, while we're waiting for it to dry, can you tell us more about you and the hubby. You guys are going to make him not want to participate in this. Again. I need someone to hold the camera. Now, uh, granted, you don't have to have a degree to hold the camera. Yeah, it's not rocket science. 
A tripod can do that, actually. Wow. Yeah, sorry, no offense. So, no benefits. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, what are some other good stories? I think we've got all of them. Um, so, I'm going to lay on this coat of Dick's Bell Sea Glass over my vintage duck egg. You can see they're just a shade different. Vintage duck egg is just slightly lighter. My brush is a little bit damp, only because I rinsed it out today. Um, so I am starting with a damp brush, and I just got... Marga said that her dog ran off because of the hair dryer. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, and, you know, my heat kind of works a little bit better, but I can't tell you where the heck it is. Janet says she just did a Harlequin design and loves it. So my second coat, your second coat is notorious for um, sticking a little bit more than a first. I usually add water. Um, and that just helps my brush glide. It also helps um, eliminate any brush strokes that you might have in your paint. I'm just laying the sea glass over the vintage duck egg. Oh good, Jackie says that uh, the two of you ladies were talking last night. You and Kristana oh. were telling stories. <laughs> Sad for me. That was a private conversation. That was the after Oh, that's hours. so weird. Yeah, that it's a private conversation with how many of your closest friends? Yeah, with me and 300 of my closest friends. Yeah. Um, me and Kristana hung out on her page last night after we got done being live on the Dixie Bell page. We went over to the uh, Bella Renabare page and painted some more. We chatted and had a good time. So a couple of quick questions. The bottles. Yes. Where do you get the bottles from? These are spray misters. I get them on Amazon. They're um, hairstylist misters. And they lay the water out instead of in droplets, it comes out in a fine mist. So it's just the right amount of water um, without adding um, water spots to your paint. Now second, sea glass, is that the actual color? Sea glass is the name of the color. That is the Dixie Bell color. So this is sea glass over vintage duck egg. I'm with you, Gary. I won't listen to her. I don't believe her. Oh, Gary. We love Gary. Gary's a good guy. Don't give Gary a hard time. We can't lose him. There's not enough guys out there painting. So I love seeing guys on here. Um, oh, Gary gets a, these aren't mister bottles. These are mistress bottles, apparently. He gets mistress bottles. So those must be the fancy ones. I told him they must keep them in the back. Okay, I'm gonna dry paint again, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, man. take a little bit longer because it's the second coat so I'm going over the first so give me you need like Jeopardy music or something oh yeah can you, yeah. Can you <laughs> dub that, that in yeah, hum that. Um, and this is my broken hair dryer that's why it's out here so it doesn't always turn off it might even be a fire hazard just warning you guys okay Brenda says I need to sing a song. I'm, no, no, I'm good. No, please. For the love, no. <laughs> I usually do a piece that takes me from start to finish over the course of a week. If I do one step each day. 
This is my answer to Harlequin. I do not measure Harlequin, you guys. This is um, a stencil from Royal Design Stencils. Um, I won a contest recently from, uh, and one of the gifts was a um, gift card to Royal Design. So this was one of the stencils I chose of a few. Um, it sells for like $19, I think. But I swear, if you ever want to paint Harlequin, I don't have the patience to measure it out and cut stencils and draw them all. No, I'm, I'm out. Royal Design Stencils, if you search on their website, Harlequin, I don't have an affiliate link for them. I will post on this uh, um, a link to the product though when I get off. So um, if you search on their website for Harlequin and then it's their Halloween, I don't know why it's called Halloween, like you can only do Harlequin on Halloween. Um, it's their Halloween furniture stencil, it's a bizarre name, and it's the medium size. This is the medium, it comes in a small and a medium, so the small would be tiny, and it shows like a hand next to it, so you can see um, the perspective on how big it is. So this is the medium one. When I stencil, I usually will spray, I don't want to get the spray adhesive on this because it's a finished piece, so I'm going to move this drawer. I will spray the back of my stencil with a spray adhesive. This is just 3M spray adhesive. It's a hardware store item. The tip is a little gummed up. Let's scrape that off. Um, okay. And then I will just mist the back of my stencil. This helps with bleed through on your stencil. Although in this look, I don't really care if it bleeds through because it's a really rustic look. Um, and then I will lay it on wherever I am going to stencil. So here I'll line it up with the edge of my piece or the edge of my drawer. Um, and then if I just tap it down, that spray adhesive, you know, kind of helps it stick and it seals off the edges of my hardware. I don't care if it bleeds through on this look because we're going to distress it. I want it to look less than perfect when I'm done. So for stenciling, I really, really, really like the, um, the stencil brushes I use are... Cristona says freehand it. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I probably could. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I probably don't give myself enough credit. I'm just, I'm intimidated. I probably could. Um, where are my stencil brushes at? Well, here's a small one. I need a bigger one. Well, anyway, these are them. And these are, um, these are by... Uh, Prima Marketing, these are their Art Basic stencil brushes and they're phenomenal. They're totally worth the investment if you do stenciling at all. So Lois wants to know, the adhesive doesn't harm the paint? It doesn't harm the paint. If anything, it harms your stencils. So you do end up having to go back and scrub your stencils clean every so often to get that um, spray adhesive because it can build up on the back of your stencils and ruin them. So, um, I mean, I go through and I wash my stencils periodically. If I do it right afterwards with Dawn dish soap and a scrubbing, um, otherwise you can use a little goof off and it will take the spray adhesive off the back of them, but it can build up after a while. Do you have a battery out here by chance? No, I don't. 15%. Okay. I'll, I'll talk fast. Okay. My phone's getting and go. Bad, guys. Um, I can run inside and get it. You want me to go get it? Okay. Sure. We'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to go in. Okay. So for stenciling, I usually, so I just shook my paint. This is Dixie Belle buttercream. I just shook my paint and I'm just going to dab this into what's on the lid because I don't need very much paint for this. Um, these aren't my favorite stencil brushes. This is just a generic one and I don't care for it as much, but it's what I can find so I'm going to use it right now. And I will just dab it in. So you don't want a lot of paint when you're stenciling, you really just need you know, a little bit. I'm just going to lay it uh, on in a thin layer in a dabbing. Get a little bit more paint. Um, you know, when I'm starting off and I have more paint on my brush, I probably want to put it in the centers and stay away from these uh, seams because that's where my paint can bleed through. You don't want to put heavy paint on the edges where it'll bleed through your stencil. More paint. This is Dixie Belle Buttercream over Vintage Jacque and Savannah Mist. Um, Let's see, I should tell you guys a story while I'm doing this. Help me out with another good story. 
<laughs> oh, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I told him last, Don't come here. I told him last night about the shirt that you wore on our first date. Oh, sweet mother. <laughs> it was so good, you guys. I Carry saw, on. I Carry on. No, another story. So that was on first date. Another story. I'll tell you guys on here. No, <laughs> another story. <laughs> first date with Hannah. Come on. I, I married him, guys. I love him. Um, he shows up in a shirt that says, this is a date. This is his date. This, no, yeah, no, no. You tell a story completely different than what I recall. It wasn't a date? No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, apparently it was just a casual encounter. I don't know. Um, I've seen those commercials. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You've seen that section on Craigslist? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> um, he shows oh, up in a t-shirt man. that Come says, on. women want me, fish fear me. Women want me fish. Guys, I kept this shirt. Because and go. <laughs> because Can't wait. It shows how much progress he's made. I also want to add that oh, my sweet. husband does not fish. Anymore. Does not fish. Anymore. Apparently you did before we before we got together, but... Um, so Thanks, Gary. I would get a pretty good laugh out of that one. He's a good... Someone's story. got my back. Yeah, poor I, Gary gets it. He knows what it's like. I'm sure if my husband was on this end, he would not be sparing me from the embarrassment either. Oh, man. How about you go get that battery? <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be nice? What, are you going to finish this up for yeah, me? <laughs> I'm going to tell a couple of stories. I do need to get... My, so my husband's name is Sean, you guys. i got to stop calling him my husband. His name is Sean. And um, on Saturday, I'm hoping I can get him on the other side of the camera because I have a project that I'm going to do what? live on this page. Um, so we'll, I'll see if I can get him to paint it. What? Whoa. Us. We'll see. It's nothing that requires any skill. Paint? Though, yeah, right? exactly. Please, Very no. Basic. We're going to start with the basics. Okay. I put stencils all the way on. Crystal Sean does not paint. I don't like to paint. No. He, he'll paint I don't. I don't house. like to paint houses. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, I do like not it. like to paint. He will do it because we're building a house right now and there's no choice. If you live here, you paint right now. Because um, we have 3,500 square feet of house that all needs to be painted. I will tear a car apart and rebuild it before I want to paint. guys, I'm peeling my stencil off. It's so pretty. So on its furniture piece to go across the drawer front, however wide you need to go, I would then come place this again right next to and I would stencil as many as I need to. I'm just now do you wait one. for that to dry before you go to no, the next? No. This is one coat of paint. Like it's I mean, it's not good. It's not budging already. What color are you stenciling? This was Dixonel buttercream. So I've got vintage duck egg. You can kind of see the layers up here. A base of vintage duck egg. Dixie Bell sea glass. And then we just stenciled in Dixie Bell buttercream over. I'm gonna dry my stencil now so we're in our third layer, and I'm drying a third layer, so bear with me again. Sorry, Nadine, that it may be blurry. I'm sorry, because he's moving the camera so you guys don't have the loudness of the um, paint drying. So now my paint is nice and dry on here. It's got a little bit of texture from the dabbing of the stencil brush, but I really liked that in the end on my piece, that little bit of texture picked up on the glaze that I added afterwards, and it, it, it just looks a little used and worn you know this is i picture this like in an old french room so that texture was really pretty once i added the dark glaze over it um so i'm going to keep that so now we've got our three layers of paint on here um you know you know what you guys on on christana's page we were also talking about her husband contributing to their decorating in my husband's defense we're building a house and we rarely have disagreements on decorating. He really doesn't even... You know why we don't have disagreements? Because you don't even try. Like, yeah. 
Yeah. Bingo. He's not fighting for like beer signs or anything like that. I mean, it's just been, it's always been really easy. But even designing the house, we had to design a house together. We didn't have any, you know. I like to sleep at night. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. I was trying to I was trying to say something nice about him, but he just apparently lives in fear of me. Whatever, it works. Um, I'm gonna get out my random orbital sander. So this is my DeWalt random orbital sander. I like this for finish work. So I don't think the orbital does as well um, cutting through um, heavy top coats or anything like that. But I really like it for distressing, getting into edges with the roundness, and then. This is sandpaper, it just Velcros on to the um, edge of my sander, and this is a 120 grit. So I like 120 for distressing, um, for finish work. It's um, fairly fine. So I'm gonna come back here now that my paint is dry. I distress this, you, you could also do this with wet distressing. Take does it, the adhesive, sorry, does the adhesive stay behind when you pull the stencil? It stays on the stencil. It doesn't come, it stays on whatever you put it on. So I sprayed it onto the stencil, it's not on my piece at all. Um, so I'm going to distress this now and we're going to cut through these layers. This, this stencil looks all new and perfect and pretty right now. Let's destroy it. Ladies are speaking my language. Christana says she loves to distress, loves demoing things. Christy says she loves her some power tools. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I was afraid of power tools. Um, cause my husband's super handy. He always fixed everything and he showed me how to use power tools. And now I'm like, why was I ever worried about this? So, um, I and now to answer, cause I got to give, you know, Gary front of the line privilege. Yeah. 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 He, he wants does. to know if I'm going with you. Of to course Florida? I am. Yes. To Florida, yes, we are going. Although I don't know how much you guys will see my husband because my kids are also going and somebody has to watch them. So eh. if he's with me, nobody's watching our kids. That should concern you, Gary. Because uh, they're probably in the hotel somewhere. And it's I'll just let him chase cars on so the freeway. So I don't know. As much as I can have him with me, you know, I will. Like, we're supposed to have a dinner on Saturday night from what I understand. Um, but he'll, he'll probably be off with my kids most of the time. But you guys are going to meet him. They'll be around. So... We'll also be in Disney World the week after if you guys are there. Um, okay, so now that I've distressed this, I did it with my sander and it's super smooth because I just sanded it all smooth and I cut through my layers of paint. So where the, um, or where the buttercream was, I cut through and you can see the sea glass peeking through. And then where only the blues were, the sea glass disappeared and now the vintage duck egg is peeking through. So I've got three layers of color here that peek through. So you can picture this. Um, now these are, you know, this drawer is sealed and it has a dark glaze over it as well. So, but you can see the layers of color peeking through here are the layers of color I've got here with the darker blue and the lighter blue on top. And then I came down here just to show you guys how when you distress through a top layer, it shows you that color underneath. So if this was a drawer frame here, I would frame around my drawer and it looks, it gives you a shaded effect. So you can see here, I distressed around the edges of the drawer. So those are darker. That's my darker color peeking through. And then the centers are a little bit lighter. So that's how I got that, that variation is, is I'm distressing down to the color underneath. Now, do you have a favorite type of adhesive and where do you get it? Um, no, I usually just use, uh, what did I have, 3M because it's at Home Depot and it's really easy to find. So I usually just grab the 3M um, spray adhesive, but they also have it at like Michael's and Hobby Lobby. You can get different kinds of spray adhesive and it's great for stenciling. Um, so I also have out, I was gonna show you guys um, how to dirty this up a little bit and I'm gonna do it different how I did on my piece because I wanna use um, Dixie Dirt. So I grabbed Dixie Dirt and Ash. I 
Love Dirt. It's a really um, great product for giving an authentic, dirty look. It's a fine, fine, fine powder. I haven't used this color. Ash is kind of a gray tone. It would look like fireplace ash. Um, and you can see it's, if I dump this, it's going to be in a puff of smoke. So, um, Dixie Dirt is meant to be used with um, Dixie Bell wax. So this is Dixie Bell clear wax. I just have a chip brush I'm going to put this on with. And you would just come in and wax. I'm just going to throw some wax on with this chip brush. And we're going to dirty this look up a little bit. So you, um, I used um, Dixie Bell Glaze in Van Dyke Brown on my piece. But I want to try it with some dirt. Nice, good coat of wax. So this is all sealed. And once it's sealed, you can see the differences in the blues really starts peeking through. Do you guys have a glare on this? I hope you can see it. Yeah, it's kind of... Turn the light down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch it. So turning the light down will help you guys see the, the variation of the color. Ignore this side from here on over, because that's where I would have added another stencil if this was a furniture piece. Try to also zoom in. Yeah, you can just really see how I distressed along the edges. So this is the point where if you had bleed through on your stencil, it wouldn't really matter because it's a, it's a fairly messy, distressed look anyways. But I mean, I love the, the different colors peeking through. So now if I take my Dixie Dirt, and this is my same brush I use for my wax, and you just dip it in there, and it sticks into the wax. And then just wherever you want. So, you know, it for... It doesn't want to pick it up very well. No? You can't see that? It blurs us. Um, well, you guys will see. I'll just go around. I'm going to pretend this is the edges of my drawer. And I would shade these I more. I battery. It's 5%. It's me, Yogi. Hey, Yogi, <laughs> hey, can you go inside uh -huh. and tell Noah I need a battery for my phone? Sure. Thank you, yeah. sir. I can both two times to fix it. I'm not a cop dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Having three boys. This is what it three does. Boys. I, I won't even read that. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. If you got it, you got it. If yeah. not, I won't. We missed out. Oh, um, man. So if this was the edges of my drawers, it just shades it. And then that, that Dixie Dirt will uh, harden into your wax. And just gives you that aged look around it. So, um... You know, like I said, I did mine with a glaze over the top. And it kind of, I mean, and then I used some brown wax around the edges as well. So it kind of yellowed my buttercream a little bit with the top coat and the glaze and the wax over it. And that was just a different way of doing it with the Dixie Dirt. So there kind of is. I mean, that's the basic steps to get here. It was a little different on my piece. And I think that's because I have the molding and then the glaze and the wax over it instead of the Dixie Dirt. The dirt sticks into all your crevices. It just gives you that really authentic, dirty look. It's Once it's in the wax, you can smear it around, give it a really smudgy effect. I'm doing it right now with my fingers. Um, the dirt, er, dirt and glazes and dark waxes are meant to mimic the look of finger-worn furniture. So everywhere your fingers would have touched over the years. Can you go get me a cord too? A cord too. Um, does it have a big end on that? End? Yes, the, yeah. Does the big end go in the back? Into my phone. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. We're sister. getting technical. My kids are running errands. My phone's low on battery. Um, so it's meant to mimic the places where over the years you would have touched your piece of furniture and gotten your oils and finger dirt on there and then, you know, it hasn't washed away. So it's meant to give a dirty, you know, a dirty effect. So I usually use that in the crevices and on the edge where your hands might have grabbed the drawer instead of using the, the hardware. Kelly says that's what she loves about the vids. They're so real. <laughs> We're talking, yeah, the hot dog breath. Everybody got it. Oh, you did. I was hoping they didn't hear. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we have three boys. No matter how much I try to curb it, they have this fascination. So it is what it is. I love them. Um, this one, no. Thank you, baby. Perfect. Oh, yeah, actually, I'm sorry. This one doesn't either. I'm going to plug a battery into my phone so I don't lose you guys. So give me just one second. Watch your finger. Oh, you just. Did it work? And 
we're good. Okay, sorry. I had to plug a battery in because my phone is um, low on battery. It has 5,000 photos saved on to it. So, I mean, I'm kind of done. That's pretty much what I did on this piece here. So, so for the drawers, I just eliminated the buttercream and you have the two shades of blue. Now, on, on the piece that I did, I used a, um, a white primer on it. When I use white primer, I like to um, embrace that white primer as an accent. So when I'm distressing through layers, I will distress through to the primer so it looks like another layer of paint. Um, I try to use it as an asset. If you've got a prime, use it as an asset. Um, otherwise, I could have just used, used a clear primer. Carla says, sorry, Carla says she's a uh, mother of three boys, 24, 26, and 28. Oh, man. I'm scared. Although, you know, me and my husband joke about uh, if you would throw a girl into our mix now, we would be totally lost. Uh, so you guys probably notice in, in my furniture, I do a lot of blues, grays. I don't have pink in my house. There's nobody to put pink on in my house. So we that's what's in my house. That's what I like. Um, so that's what my furniture pieces usually come out into. Although Dixieville Tea Rose is, is a gorgeous pink. Okay, do you guys want to give away some paint because I'm done yapping? And you guys probably already watched me last night, so we need to go eat some dinner. So I will give away some paint. So I'm going to sneak around to the back side of the camera. If you've liked and shared this post, liked my page at Brushed by Brandy, we are going to pick a winner. <laughs> Sean put the phone on do not. Oh, I forgot to turn my notifications off, and I'm super popular all the time. Sorry, guys. So I'm looking if you've liked it and shared this post. All right, ready? Are you guys ready? Teresa Little. Teresa, are you on? You want an eight ounce of Dixie Belle paint? Message me on my page at Brush by Brandy. And I'll get your shipping information. You get to pick a, a color. My color recommendations for tonight are going to be um, Vintage Duck Egg was that beautiful blue underneath. Um, Buttercream, which is a nice creamy white tone. And then Sea Glass is the shade that you're seeing on top, which is a, you know, it is the color of Sea Glass, of Vintage Sea Glass. So Vintage Duck Egg, Buttercream, and Sea Glass, those are my recommendations for tonight. So message me on my page and congratulations. Guys, I'll be back again live on Saturday. Um, if you like this, go like my page at Brush by Brandy. Um, I do custom furniture work, you guys. So most of what I do um, is people will message me and say, I'm looking for a buffet. And we, I, I will show you what I have in my unfinished stockpile. We literally design the piece together. So um, I love that I'm able to offer a truly custom piece of furniture. Um, we look through photos on Pinterest and photos of my work and we choose colors and we choose finishes together. And in the, the end result is a truly custom piece of furniture for somebody. So um, most of the work I do is custom. I don't get a lot of pieces out for sale because they're usually made for somebody in advance. Um, but if you like what you see, message me. I do um, offer shipping across the country. And um, if you're interested in something, message me. We can definitely chat about uh, what I offer. So I hope you guys like that. Um, this piece also that you see behind me is a dresser and two nightstands, and this is for sale. So message me if you're looking. And um, I will let you guys go and have a good night and come back on Saturday. I'll be live again.